All right, this video is gonna walk us through how you can actually, or really what you can do in a GoodNotes document. So once you create the document and create the actual notebook, or if you're doing this on uh, an uploaded PowerPoint, these are the features that, that GoodNotes has. Um, and I really like GoodNotes because they are not only powerful, but also relatively straightforward. Uh, so hopefully you'll find that as well. So first things first, we're gonna create a new document and we'll just do it as a notebook for now. You pick the cover and you pick whatever you'd like it to be. I recommend picking something consistent or something that you know you're gonna really lean into. So for instance, I know for a math teacher, in my good heart of hearts, I would like a uh, squared paper or maybe I want that as a landscape mode because that's how I'm gonna set up the video. I'm gonna create this and we're gonna jump right in. Um, so you'll notice that there's a lot of different features up here. We're gonna walk through each of them individually. Uh, but again, hopefully you'll find that a lot of these are straightforward and I encourage you to just jump in and try them out uh, on your own as well. So we'll start with the one on the left here. This is the pen option. Uh, it starts as either a fountain pen, a ballpoint or a brush pen, you pick. If you haven't connected your stylus, you can do it right from here too. So I click on that, um, but we're gonna go with the fountain pen. And then we have the ability to choose our colors on the right side here. So if I wanna go with a black pen, hello if I want to go with a green pen, or if I want to change that color, I just double click that color and I can choose maybe I want it to be pink instead. If I want them to be thicker lines, I would just adjust the thickness next to those colors there. And again, we can adjust. So now you can see it's a little bit thicker. And that would just be the writing piece. Next to the pen is an eraser. So if I want to get rid of anything in particular, I can just erase it as we go. And again, those also have different sizes, a small eraser, medium size eraser, or a large eraser all on this right side here. Next to the eraser, we have a highlighting feature. So if you're doing uh, any sort of um, like annotation on maybe a PDF document with a, like maybe you wanna show um, annotations for an essay, you can just make some highlights. Again, different sizes, different colors at your disposal. Just double click on a color if you wanna change it. And we can see that the highlighting feature works as well as the eraser. Uh, for those highlighters. All right, and then the rest here, uh, where it gets a little more fun, and I think this is where GoodNotes really makes a lot of its money. Uh, if you are creating any sort of shape in this item, you'll see that once you create a shape, the GoodNotes feature will automatically create the shape that you are trying to make uh, in a more sort of even form. So let's say I wanted to make a, a sort of square here or a rhombus, they kind of straighten out all of my lines for me. Again, as a math teacher, I can certainly appreciate that. Um, it's not perfect, but it is, I think, a very cool feature, and I think it, it refines uh, what you're doing a little bit better. Next to that is a lasso feature, and which is nice is that if you can circle around a particular shape, this allows you that if you've edited this, you can move this around by just circling that item, clicking and letting, uh, clicking and just sort of dragging around with your finger. Um, you can see the shape moves around pretty easily. Um, again, features that are nice that you can choose what to, uh, how you wanna use them. Next to that, you can also upload photos into a particular notebook file or into a file that come directly from your uh, photos. So for instance, let's say I wanna bring in a photo of what grades look like in Canvas. That's what these photos are. And I can choose to add them if I want or move them around by clicking and dragging. Um, but that's just a nice feature that it also ties into your photo albums as well. And if you don't want to, the item, the camera next to that allows you to take a photo uh, of whatever you'd like and then add it automatically. So let's say you're maybe looking at a particular piece of work or maybe you've done something by hand that you want to include into the GoodNotes document. You can just do that by taking a photo. Next to that is a text box. So if I want to particularly add Let's say some text into this. I can say, hello, everybody. Um, and then would just be regular text instead of having to type everyone. There we go, those are the words. And again, same features. We can change some of the fonts. Uh, if we wanna italicize anything, change the colors. And then next to that is a laser pointer. So if you're giving out any sort of videos and you wanna highlight something, you click and hold and it creates a nice little laser pointer to highlight something that's, um, maybe you're trying to uh, illustrate a point in a particular PowerPoint, or maybe you want students to take notes on something and you wanna use a laser pointer, you can do that. Um, next to that, uh, it, beyond just the regular laser pointer is also this feature that allows you to um, have a sort of stream of a laser and it shows for a second. So maybe you wanna highlight something in your PowerPoint. I think that's a pretty just nifty feature um, that is new to GoodNotes 5 that I um, appreciate. <laughs> 
right, and then the last feature that I wanna show, uh, so if I wanna, sorry, if I wanna, two more things. If I wanna create a new page, up in the top right corner, there's a plus button so I can add another page and you can see that the current template will be the default. If I want to, um, if I want to, if I want to, sorry, uh, create a new page that's not of the current template, I would just pick something different. So maybe I would choose this single column mix here. And we can see that a new page is created automatically without having to um, change anything up and all the same features are still available. Now, one thing that I really like about the GoodNotes feature is this button on the left side, next to the pen on the left, um, it creates a screen sort of zoomed into the document. So you'll see that I've zoomed in at the top of this document here, and maybe I wanna write something up at the top of that document, but it's hard for me to write in that small font. I can write in much larger font, hello out there. And you'll see that my typing is done automatically and then is filled in in that box up at the top. So it allows me to, to have a little more room um, to write on a larger scale and then fit into the picture. Again, as a math teacher, this is huge because if I wanna articulate a particular point on a graph, I can really zoom in on a particular section, write normally, and then have everything automatically appear where I need it to appear without having to make my you know make my font really small or, or having to really struggle with this uh, if we want to have any additional settings click on the three dots in the top right corner uh, this you can see if we want to change any sort of templates midway through rotate pages uh, if i want to change any sort of scrolling direction i can do that i recommend that you just go in and play around with it a little bit if i don't want to do any more edits next to the three dots to the left hand side you see that pen icon is gone and that allows me to just cycle through by doing a regular one finger swipe uh, in between my sort of front page and then my next page of my notes, my next page of my notes. And I can always again add from here as well. And if I wanna go back in, I just click on that button with, that has the sort of pen circled. So in the top left corner, we can see where I would normally click. So next to the three dots, that button, that pen with the circle allows me to start editing, editing, editing again. So those are the functions within a GoodNotes uh, document. You can see that you can do a lot depending upon the document, uh, and you can really have a whole lesson um, just videoed out through this. So if you wanted to maybe do a 15 minute lecture, you can have a PowerPoint and you can annotate over it, or maybe you wanna make a lesson of um, just how to like sort of proofread an essay. You can do that in GoodNotes with a lot of different functionality. I encourage you to try out with an individual notebook first, try out some of the features, see what you can do, and then start thinking about how you can apply it to your classes.